Well, whether you're making something for a special occasion or a special person, you just like to bake for fun, there are some basic essentials you need. Our best reviews team is with a woman who knows her way around the kitchen to show us a few things you should have on hand. Check it out. All right, Scott, if you're going to do some baking, we've got to get the experts on the baking. Best reviews, we go to Andrea Bottevine for this. That's right. She's going to tell us all about this. Welcome. Let's find out. Thank you. Let's get in from the experts. Let's talk about this. Yeah, so I think some baking essentials that people really need to start baking in their home kitchen is probably a KitchenAid mixer, something to start, right? This is your workhorse in the kitchen. This is the Cadillac, too, it of is. the... Uh, I, and I know a lot of people talk about the size and the, I mean, so there's a lot of yeah. parts of this, but you're saying for someone that's going to jump in, this I is... I think if you're going to jump in first time around, make an investment. The KitchenAid is an investment, but okay. it's worth it. All yeah, right. and you've got lots of attachments and stuff that you can add onto this little port right here. Make pasta, ice cream, all that good stuff. And okay. you can read all about it on bestreviews.com. We talk <laughs> a lot about that. I love that. <laughs> all right, and then you, you brought some other kind of staples of I the did. kitchen. If you're recommending a, a, someone that's going to get into baking for the yeah. first time, these are things they need. Absolutely. Well, there's rubber spatula which you've heard of before. These are actually metal spatulas. They're a little bit different. Um, nice. And I really think these are kind of overlooked tools that we have in the kitchen um, that are really, really essential to helping you get your stuff done. This little guy will help you separate brownies and cakes from the side. It will help you cut lasagna without slicing your pan, whatever that is, because it's you, a dull edge. Yeah, you don't want to, like, make something up, like grab a knife and do that, right? Right, you know, right, no. They're... Especially if it's a nonstick pan. Yeah. Don't do that to don't your that, pans. you're going to mess up the pan, yeah. you know, you know, all, all that stuff. That's not very friendly. That's not good. All right, I've got something in my hand. What, what is this? I just, I just found this. What, do we, what would we use this for? It's baking. Baking essential trivia with, uh, with Andrew. You know, am I well, that, a little sideburn? I'm no? glad you brought that up because this is actually a basting brush for okay. barbecue. Um, it's made of silicone, which is great. It can take up to 500 degrees. We have a similar model. It's a pastry brush, something oh, nice. very, yeah, something that you also, you can also baste barbecue with this. But a pastry brush is a little bit softer. You can, you know, uh, oil your, your cutting boards, your wooden spoons like that to keep them healthy. You can wash the insides of pans. If you're making caramels, you need to wash the sugar down. That's a little Very more good. advanced. Very but good. Clearly the we'll get there, though. <laughs> Andrea's here. We'll get there. All right, I noticed you brought a scale, a digital yes. scale. I don't have one of these. I've always wondered, like, I, like I know why? I'm measuring. Why? Yeah, why? Why do I need a digital yes, scale? Tell me. Yeah. I never use that because I don't know how to use it, really. Okay, yeah, so we should. I love these digital scales mostly because when I'm making chocolate chip cookies, something really simple, they come out all different sizes. They might come out like ovals. They might get a little weird. Right. Roll it in a ball, throw it on here. Every single one of them is one ounce. They all bake perfectly. It looks like Chips Ahoy. I mean, everybody thinks you're a master. And all you did was weigh it and make sure it's that. the right size. Right. If you're baking something special from Europe or you're using a recipe book from Europe, everything, the rest of the world really uses grams. We use ounces here in America. This will help convert it for you. So if somebody says, I need 355 grams of something, you can put it on there, switch it over to ounces, know how much flour you How need. simple is that? Okay. These so, are all the tools you need. It's right. really yeah, handy. We got the mixer, we got the spatulas, we got the pastry brush, this weird thing you brought <laughs> in the scale, everything we And we're all set ready to go. That's all right. right. And of course, uh, bestreviews.com Best where we find reviews. out more. Bestreviews.com, yep. We've uh, reviewed over 60,000 products on there. So. Very nice. Hey, I'm going to look. She's the expert in the kitchen. Let's go.